Every she goes away, she leaves a piece of her with me. We have a very active rascal family. Six kids, a dozen different activities and a very adventurous mother. We are always on the go but then again, sometimes I don't go. We live in the center of the Sunshine State but there are beaches just an hour away, east and west of us. We have the most parks of any county in America. When I say parks I mean theme parks, water parks, wildlife parks, recreational vehicle parks and more. If you want to get out and spend some money, we have certainly got an abundance of places for you to go. My family and extended family loves to do it all, over and over again. I am not as big a fan. I'd rather burn my calories in the gym instead of burning them standing in long lines sweating in the sweltering Florida sun for two hours just to enjoy two minutes of excitement. I enjoy the beaches about three times a year, not twenty like the rest of my family. They surf. I don't. My children interact with the ocean wildlife. I won't. Deep into the sea they will venture. I will not. I was born and raised in Philadelphia. There was almost no foliage and certainly no wild animals. I'm good under the umbrella shielded from the sun enjoying a hoagie and a pop. Parks and beaches aren't my favorite type of recreation. I'd rather see a live performance, sporting event or band. Our children play a ton of sports and are involved in tournaments all over the state and beyond. There is a ton of travel and hotel stays. Sometimes I am not able to attend, either because of work or I just occasionally opt out. Every so often those rascals will leave me home alone for several days to care for our many pets. Home alone I busy myself with writing, church, chores, working out and of course caring for the animals. Every step I take around our home I would find a token of my wife's love. Little love notes in the shape of hearts cut out of construction paper in the silverware drawers. She made tints out of cardboard decorated the outside with different colors and symbols of love. Inside these tents were little notes or poems expressing her love and appreciation for me. Others stated how much she would miss me while she was gone. You're wonderful. Even with closed eyes, it is possible to see just how much you mean to me. Your love is priceless. Benny Everywhere I turned I discovered another beautiful expression of my beautiful Benny's love for me. All chores were a joy to complete that weekend because whenever I opened a drawer, cabinet or appliance a little bit of her sweetness poured out onto my heart. It hurts to see her leave, lay in our marital bed without her, wake to no one but hungry pets but then I open the cupboard to feed the animals and there is another love note. I call her as soon as I believe she's awake. Good morning sunshine. How's New York this morning? Good morning. I slept well and you? You know it is always lonely in this bed without you but you raised my spirits once I woke up to feed the turtles. Oh you found my note? Yes, I found your many lovely notes. They were all beautiful, handcrafted with such care. Just like those books of poetry you made me in 2010. Well, I want you to know how much I love you when I'm gone. Well I thank you because I certainly feel loved. Thank you so much Benny. Oh, you're welcome babe. I miss you. I love and miss you. Our conversation continues on as I walk the dogs and get ready for the gym. By the time we hang up my heart is temporarily filled with her again. Before it dissipates I find another letter in my sock drawer. I sit at the foot of my bed reading it and just shake my head realizing we have a love for the ages. I say a silent prayer and thank God for the blessings of my life, my family and especially my wife. I am just so grateful to be loved so by such a thoughtful woman because no matter where she goes and no matter how long she is gone, every time she goes away, she leaves a piece of her with me.